Okay, now I've been convinced um, by the girls in my office that I should turn my monthly rants into vocalised rants. And I guess we'll do that. Only because they've got nothing better to do and I've got so much time on my hands. I just want to talk about a couple of things this month that bug me and things that have been bugging me for a long time and something that I've never actually considered until lately. And that is the term masterclass. Well, it seems to me that every Tom, Dick and Harry is running a masterclass. Um, every single school, you see, is running a masterclass. And even those that are not schools are running masterclasses. There are so many masters around, I wonder where all the servants are. And I quite often have been considered myself as a servant. But it appears that I could be a master. Now, let's give me a definition because I've actually researched this. This is the definition of a master class. And it's very important that we understand this. I would have thought it was pretty simple and to the point that it is a class run by a master, but no, it's not that simple, really. Um, it's actually, to quote a dictionary definition, a master class is a class given to students of a particular discipline by an expert of that discipline, usually music, but also any of the other arts or on any other occasion where skills are being developed. In other words, um, and the difference between a normal class and a master class is typically the setup. In a master class, all the students, and often spectators, if there are any, of course, um, watch and listen as the master takes on one student at a time. The master then gives that student notes, directions on what he or she should do, what they could do, what options they have, generally speaking, giving them direction. So in a sort of a way, he acts or she acts as both a tutor and a director at the same time. They then go away and come back later, having worked on the piece, and represent the piece again to the master after taking on board all or most of the notes. And that basically is the setup of a master class, and that's how it differs from any other class. It doesn't necessarily take into account <coughs> things like screen image um, or size of frame or what angles, whether you play across the lens or play open to the lens, those things don't matter. They actually belong to separate kinds of classes. Okay, so now we know what a master class is. Let's get the definition of a master. Now, this I find really interesting because I always wondered what a master was, as I said before. And exactly what qualifies anyone for that esteemed title? And who indeed bestows that title upon anyone? I mean, who decides who a master is? I mean, is it something that you just put a cloak on and say, I am now a master, um, therefore I'm now going to be a master, so every class I run from now on is a master class? Well, that's a bit of a worry, really. I mean, I've always wondered why never ever, never ever considered me a master. I've been in this business for 50 years, and I've never stopped working. I'm still working, but I don't know if I qualify to be a master. I hope so. I mean, I don't know. Is it a club that you've got to belong to? I mean, how do you apply for membership? I mean, and, and, and who do you apply to? I'm being sarcastic. No. <clears throat> All right, look, my research has come up with this. A person eminently skilled in something as an occupation, an art, or a science. A person whose teachings others accept or follow. Being a master of some occupation or art, eminently skilled. A person with exceptional skill at a certain thing. The man in authority is such the head of a household, the employer of servants, or the owner of slaves or animals. My goodness me. Amazing. Who'd have thunk it, huh? Okay, so I'm getting the idea that it's obvious that if you're going to be a master, you have to be especially skilled in that particular area. In other words, if I want to run an acting class, I should be a master at running an acting class because I am a master in acting. And I guess I deserve that title. Whoa, I've discovered something. Because for the last 50 years, as I said, not quite 50, 48, I think, in fact, um, I've really done nothing but act in this industry professionally and been paid for it. That's a surprise to most of you, I know. A surprise to me a lot of the time too, I can tell you. But anyway, sometimes people are silly enough to pay you and that's the way it goes. Um, 
So the important thing is that if I am not a good actor, if I haven't worked as an actor most of my life, and I, let's say at least 10 years is what I would consider reasonable professionally, then probably I couldn't be considered as a master. So, all those master classes out there being run by people who have not acted a lot or have acted very badly and have not been paid for it or can't get a job anymore as actors, um, I guess we can't call them masters. So, these are just things that have bugged me because I see them, I see these ads and I see people calling themselves this, that or the other thing. And for years I've just kind of wondered what it was all about. I, I remember being in LA, which I go to almost every year, and I attend a lot of classes. I say attend as an observer and I watch. And almost all of them are master classes. And yet, when I look at the history of the person running those classes and their CV or their IMDB, I notice that there aren't very many acting credits on there. So I kind of ask myself, where did all this come from? Oh, we went to a university and we got a BA or an MA or even a PhD. In other words, we studied the craft from books. We didn't actually do it. In other words, we didn't get out there on set. We didn't get our hands dirty. We learned it all from books. I have a problem with that. I have a problem that unless you've actually done it, you probably don't know what you're talking about. I mean, you may have a theory about it because you've read about it, but you don't really know what you're talking about because you haven't been in front of that camera. You haven't been on that stage. You just haven't been there. And that, unfortunately, is the truth. There are classes that can be run by people in various elements of the industry, which I think are perfectly right, and so they should be. Um, directors who have an innate knowledge um, of directing actors have every right to run classes. Casting directors who see people making mistakes day in and day out have every right running classes. I guess what they don't have a right in running is a master class because that's what they haven't done. But they have every right and their knowledge is invaluable of doing anything else. Um, so I'm not having a go, I'm just kind of wanting to clarify it because these are the things that have been bugging me for a long time.